I'm Teniola Shobowale. Here's your Channel TV Evening News recap for March the 7th, 2020. Police in Imo State have arrested one of the suspects in the murder of Syracuse Onunko, a priest with the Olu Catholic Diocese. The suspect, Charles Nanna, who was believed to be a member of a four-man gang, was apprehended by men of the Special Anti-Robbery Squad and is reported to have confessed to the crime as well as his role in the operation. Meanwhile, the police in Ogun State have arrested three suspects and rescued 12 victims in Mowe area after an inmate raised the alarm over the illicit business. A similar facility in River State was also uncovered where more than 30 children were found, although the operators insisted that the home was registered. The police have vowed tough action against operators of illegal orphanages and child cell centers across the state. To health matters, the Minister of State for Health, Dr. Olorunimbe Mamo, has restated the need to strengthen the nation's healthcare systems at the rural areas to cope with disease outbreaks like Lassa fever and COVID-19, both of which record fatalities. According to the minister, while diseases like coronavirus are alien to Nigeria and require temporary measures, Lassa fever is an environmental problem that needs to be dealt with constantly. On the international scene, a second case of COVID-19 has been confirmed in South Africa. According to the South African Minister of Health, the 39-year-old lady from Guateng is a direct contact to the first case from KwaZulu-Natal and was part of the group of 10 that travelled from Italy. And finally, in sports, English Premier League leaders Liverpool came from behind to beat Bournemouth 2-1 victory at Anfield and are within three wins from winning the EPL title. The result lifts Jurgen Klopp's team 25 points clear of second place Manchester City, who face Manchester United on Sunday in one of their two games in hand on the Premier League leaders. And that's the evening news recap. Don't forget to join us tomorrow for the morning news update. I'm Teniola Shavuale. Thanks for watching.